Welcome back to How to Be a Better DM, the official podcast of Monsters.Rent. I'm Justin Lewis. And I'm Tanner Wayland. And we are here to help you tell better stories for yourself and your players as you dungeon master sessions of D&D, Dungeons and Dragons. We'd like to give you some quick announcements. We actually have one before the show. And then after the show, if you want to stick around, we have some more announcements then as well. Uh, but first, let's talk about this. Tired of being alone? Are you tired of not having any of your players understand you? Are you tired of never truly belonging? Well, you're in luck. All you need to do is join the Guild. The Guild is a unique and exclusive experience that is only open to Dungeon Masters. It is a full community focused on helping ease your DMing burdens. Want to meet other DMs? Join the Guild. Want to discuss your homebrew ideas with people who would appreciate it instead of just telling your cat? Join the guild! Want to find a place where all your wildest dreams will come true? Join the guild! Go to monsters.rent slash guild and sign up today for free. Wait, that can't be right. Chuck, Chuck, can you check this again? Is this supposed to be... What? Oh, it's... They're serious? It's free? Oh. Okay, all right. Yes, go to monsters.rent slash guild and sign up today for free, even though they are crazy for giving this away for free. Common side effects may include burping, sneezing, laughing, breathing, hearing, listening, tasting, farting, critting, sarcasm, and in extreme cases, explosive diarrhea. Awesome. With that out of the way, we can get into today's show. The grand city of Tornlock boasts a population of 100,000 citizens. From the port district to the affluent crown district, many call this city their home. In a city like this, though, many find themselves in less than fortunate circumstances. You and your companions find yourselves in an inn, sleeping, when a loud knock on your door awakens you. It's a member of the guard. He informs you that Lawmaster Sotan requires your immediate presence. After you and your companions prepare yourselves for the day, you follow the guard out and into a slightly overcast morning. The guard leads you down main streets, side roads, and eventually leads you to an alleyway in a darker part of town. He leads you toward a small huddle of guardsmen in the center of the alleyway. As you approach, a head raises from the group and signals to you all a basic, if not taciturn, greeting. It's Lawmaster Sotan. You and your companions have worked with the ASMR on a few occasions, and your dealings had always been cordial and productive. Good morning, adventurers. I apologize for the inconvenience at having to wake you at such an early hour, but it could not be helped. Please inspect the grisly scene before us and tell me what insights you can glean. We will talk more after you've had a chance to examine the corpse, Sotan says as he beckons you and your companions forward. The group of guards part and you encounter one of the most grisly scenes of your life. A pastel purple tiefling lies on the ground, eyes wide open, staring silently into the gray sky. The body lies with arms and legs akimbo, tied to four posts impaled in the ground. A look of deep fear and consternation adorns the face, frozen in time forever. You also notice the tiefling's chest and belly are flayed open, revealing internal organs of the once living tiefling. Blood has been splattered all over the alleyway, and footprints of blood leave down the opposite side of the alleyway. You turn to Lymaster Sotan, but not before he says, This is the third victim exactly like this in 15 days. We need your help. What would you like to do? Welcome back to the 16th episode of How to Be a Better DM. I'm here to help you create better stories for yourself and your friends while you play Dungeons & Dragons 5e. Thank you guys for coming back for yet another episode. I really appreciate your patronage, your support. I am still sick, uh, still not feeling 100% myself, so hopefully today's episode is what you're expecting, but let's get into it. Uh, as you build out your stories, one-shots, and campaigns, you'll indubitably need resources. Whether you need maps, monsters, or motivation, there are many places to find what you need. Here are my top places I go for resources when I'm not looking in a manual. Number one, and sorry, my dog is 
yipping in the background, so you might hear her, but number one is Google search. Almost without exception, a simple search on the internet will give me a quick path to what I need. Now, obviously, this takes you to the place you need to go, but never underestimate the power of a Google search. For example, I built out a one-shot recently, and I needed a very specific type of monster. So I searched on Google, and it took me to what I needed. The only caveat here is that if you are streaming or putting your content out commercially, you need to make sure that whatever stuff you pull from the internet is okay to use in that way. Another example, just last night, I was preparing another one shot and I needed a refresher on rules for chase scenes, chase encounters. So I did a quick Google search and I found multiple articles that helped me immensely. Number two is Instagram. Now, be warned, this is a more passive method for finding cool things, but as I scroll, uh, I find cool things, and I save them in different saved collections. Now, the way I use Instagram is on my personal profile. I have like 60 people that I follow, so going to the bottom to discover new stuff is pretty easy. But I have a collection for monsters, items, simple hacks, story hooks, and more, all from Instagram. And, and specifically with monsters, items, and story hooks, there are many Instagram profiles out there that constantly put out new monsters, items, and story hooks. <clears throat> I would share them with you, but I have not gotten the proper authorization to do so from the authors or owners of the content. So if you want to check them out, go to my Instagram, at Geronimo Levis. Go to the list of profiles I follow and search it real quick and you'll see some D&D Beyond, or not D&D Beyond, but some D&D &D, uh, related content, and that'll tip you off. Number three, D&D &D Beyond. I know I talk a lot about D&D &D Beyond, but specifically <clears throat> for monsters, it's very useful. Specifically the encounter builder. But finding monsters, spells, or items is really easy because you can just search, just like on Google, and generally it comes up. You can also find other people's homebrew content, which is nice because... When you want to supplement what you already got, you just go to people who've made what you're looking for. <laughs> Number four is Pinterest. With my earlier Google search that I mentioned, my internet uh, search, my internet journey, eventually took me to the wilds of Pinterest, where I indeed found the monsters that I was looking for. I simply copied and pasted the images of the monsters and their stats into the doc in which I was preparing my one shot, and boom, I was good to go. Again. Here you have to get the go ahead before you use this content in a commercial way, but for home games, Pinterest is perfect. Number five, other people. A great resource that many people never tap into is talking to other people. I know in a personal way, I recently had a few moments of collaboration with a friend creating a murder mystery dinner party that we're gonna be having soon. Uh, now obviously, it's not D&D, but the principle still applies. If you need help, just reach out to a fellow dungeon master and ask a simple question of what would you do if you were planning this type of session? Works wonders and bonus, you become better friends most cases. There you have it, five non-source book places to go to get the content you need to ma uh, dungeon master an epic session of D&D. Number one, Google search. Number two, Instagram. Number three, D&D Beyond. Number four, Pinterest. And number five, other people. I'd love to continue this conversation with you guys, so reach out to me on Instagram, at Geronimo Levis. Let's continue the fun. If you have any suggestions, questions, or anything, I'd love to be of service. Uh, but we'll come back next week for another amazing episode. Amazing, since I'm the one making it. Ha ha ha. But uh, seriously, we'll come back next week for another fun episode. Until then, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Thank you for listening to today's show. Uh, we really appreciate your support and your patronage. We have a few more announcements to go over. Uh, first, did you ever fall in love with the library as a kid? It was a place where you could experience a thousand stories without having to buy a thousand books. That is what Monsters at Rent can do for your D&D campaign. You can rent and swap out as many quality miniature monsters and creatures for your D&D party as you could ever want without having to buy them. You can rescue villagers from a kobold camp or lead your party through the fighting forest or many more adventures. We're coming out with new bundles all the time. Just sign up for our subscription to get access to your own personal library of minis. Go to monsters.rent to find out more. That's the website, monsters with an S dot rent. 
Get your library pass to a world of minis today. We also wanted to let you know that today's episode is sponsored by Stardust and Dragons. I'm going to let one of the cast of Stardust and Dragons, Christian Hatcher, and his crew tell you a little bit more about it. This August, a new adventure podcast is coming to a platform near you, filled with action. You, one of the two of them. We can't right. keep taking hits like that. Drama. Everything that she's been doing, everything, she, everything she's going to do finally sets in and stardust help help (coughs) someone please find out more about this epic odyssey at stardustanddragons.com where adventure awaits in the stars that's all the announcements we have today again thank you so much for everything you do for us you make this show possible like we said before we'll be back next week with another great episode and until then let's go ahead and roll initiative